What is up y'all? Top of the morning to you. Today is going to be a fun day, hopefully. So we are going to be getting into the water. That's why we're putting the wading boots on. We're going to be doing some good old Delaware Creek wade fishing, but not just fishing. Today, we are whipping out the good old fly rod. Um, so I have fly fished like not many times in my life. If you guys saw the video a year ago, I'll put it down in the description below, but we were in... New Mexico, shout out to Ty. He really taught me a lot about fly fishing and we were in like a pristine world-class trout stream and we caught a really big brown trout and a bunch of other trout as well, but that was a year ago. And I've barely touched these Delaware waters with a fly rod. I mean, I think I've caught less than 10 fish total in Delaware on a fly rod. So uh, cross your fingers, y'all are about to, <laughs> Y'all about to see something. If you can tell from the thumbnail title, we're not just going out and fly fishing as well. You guys really liked the video I did a couple weeks ago, the most expensive Amazon fishing kit. Well, this is the most expensive Amazon fly fishing kit. This dude was around like 40 or 50 bucks. Ooh, we're looking pretty good. I don't know what half of those things are. Oh, that's like a little bumblebee. That's pretty cool. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of explore this here. I think this is gonna be an interesting video. So let's try not to catch any trees, try not to break the rod. And also let's try to get some fishing in before there's like a super thunderstorm on its way. So that's why I kinda of figured like, dude, if we're gonna do some creek stuff, we gotta do it now before the water gets super high and runny. It's supposed to be like crazy thunderstorm. So yeah, let's get everything together. Let's get down there and uh, it's been like a freaking year, man. Let's see if I still remember, I don't think I do, uh, but how to fly fish. This is nice, this still looks really good. Again, that water, I mean, we're gonna get so much rain that it's just gonna like completely demolish, completely flood out this whole area. So if you guys have been watching the channel here recently, we've been coming here a couple times and this is just a really, really killer little spot. I've caught so many trout right over in that seam and I caught some over here the other day. If you guys remember, I said I've been wanting to walk down that way because it looks really good that way too. Unfortunately, we'll kind of be going downstream, which you're supposed to like wade upstream, but yeah, we're gonna try to hit this because I know there should still at least be one more fish around here. And these are trout too, which is crazy for this time of the year. It's like a, like a hidden oasis. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's beautiful. And uh, it's really cool that these fish are still in the water. Oh boy. All right, so let me show you guys kind of what we got here. So this is my Cabela's fly fishing rod, nothing fancy. And then on that, we just have like the stock Y line, which a lot of you guys were like, yo, change that. I don't, I don't know what to buy. Anyway, this is actually a rig that Ty gave me out in New Mexico. So the fly line gets tied onto this like leader material. That goes down to this little dude, which is a little float that actually moves depending on the depth. You can kind of adjust that. Which goes down to a little ring and then I tied smaller leader, or what do they call it? Tippet, fly, fly tippet. I don't know, yeah, so hopefully we're gonna kind of cast it out. They call it an indicator, not a bobber and hopefully we'll see that go down and we'll try to look like something natural coming down these falls, some kind of bug or bumblebee or I don't freaking know what. So let's take a look here real quick. Let me know, man. if we can get like, I'd say like 1500 likes on this video, we'll go back onto Amazon and try to find the most expensive saltwater fishing kit and take it out to like Delaware Beach around here and see what we can catch all that. I think this is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. I think start off we should do something small. I have absolutely no clue what these things are. I guess that's a popper looking dude. Yeah, those are definitely bumblebees right here. Look at that. That's pretty freaking sick. I don't know if we have an abundance of bees here in Delaware. Again, I really don't know what I'm doing, but this looks nice and shiny. I think this is a nymph or a caddis nymph. But yeah, man, I, I don't know much about fly fishing. I want to get into the realm but it's, it's like, there's a lot. I feel like it's like becoming a Jedi. Like you, you gotta train in the ways of the force. I've been watching a lot of Star Wars lately. I think that should be a good length. I don't know, we're just gonna kind of experiment, man. I'm sure all you fly guys and gals in the comments are probably like, dude, don't, what are you doing? I'm trying. And also, I do just wanna say, I don't say this a lot, but uh, if you guys do enjoy the videos, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just saw a bunch of sunfish. 
All right, let's see if I remember how to cast this. There's a bunch of trees around. I'm gonna get in the water a little bit. Oh, ooh, ooh. ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Hike them shorts up a little bit. Oh, I got a fish. I wasn't even trying. <laughs> what do we got here? First one of the day. Oh boy, I can barely get that dude in. Oh my. Hello? That is, is that a shiner? That might be the biggest shiner I have ever, one, caught and two, seen. Is that a freaking shiner? Dude, is this a freaking state record shiner? Wet my hand real quick. What on earth? Right, I'll put it on my phone here. Is up to the start button on my phone. <laughs> what the heck? That's just so cool, dude. I, and I feel kind of bad because like I caught this dude, but I didn't even really try to. So does that really count as our first fly catch? I mean, I guess. Oh, and there he goes, or she goes. She kind of looked pregnant, maybe. Not bad, dude. I mean, I really didn't even do anything. I wasn't even trying to catch a fish. But we freaking caught one. Hopefully the trout like it as much as, I think that's a shiner, right? A common shiner? I think the other day I was mistaking those for creek chub. A lot of the smaller stuff looks alike sometimes, you know? All right. So literally we're just gonna follow that indicator and if that moves or stops moving, either we're snagged on a rock or we got maybe something. It'd be cool, can y'all see that too? I, don't know, I think I need to get this more into the into it, into it. You know what I mean? There we go. Oh, we're more into it, into it. Wow, man, it'd be so cool to catch a freaking trout on the fly. It's been so long since I've caught a freaking Delaware trout on a freaking fly rod. Will this shiny thing do it? I don't know if I should put a split shot on here either. I want it like. There we go. Almost fell in though. As always, in theory, I mean, these fish should hopefully be feeding because it's about to be a big storm. All right, well, I've casted a lot. And it, it just kind of gets you wondering like, all right, well, I, I'm pretty sure there's still fish in here. So what is it? Is it, is my tippet too large? That's been an issue sometimes. Like these fish get smart and the water's pretty clear. They see the tippet. Is this just not a bug that's like, Abund abundant, ab abundant out here. Like, do they just know? Or are they like, dude, what the freak kind of bug is that? I don't need that. Or am I just not placing it in the right area? Lots of questions. I mean, at least we caught a fish so far. Let me try to get it. Yeah, that's good. I really want it right outside those bubbles, right outside that seam, or even in this. They they were biting it in the seam the other day. All right, well, this is the first tree I hooked. Not bad statistics. I think we're gonna switch up the fly. Oh, I just saw something come up and eat something on the top here. Hmm. Oh no, I can feel it. It's starting to get windier a little bit, chillier out. So that is what we put on. It's got the bead, so hopefully it should still sink a little bit, but it's got more wings on it. It is a little bit bigger. I don't know, maybe they couldn't see it. They definitely could see it. Oh. oh my gosh. I had a bite. That looked like a trout. That was a freaking trout. It was something bigger. I don't know. I saw it move a little bit, but I literally saw the fish underwater go for it. I don't know why I didn't get it. See what, that is exciting though. <laughs> Maybe this one does look a little bit, little bit more buggy right now.
eat it. There you go. There we go. He ate it. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Woo! Fighter. What is this? That was so cool, man. Literally sight casting with the fly rod. Come here. This thing puts up a freaking bend too, this fly rod. All right, we're gonna put him in the net. Cause we got it. Why not? Oh, no, no, oi, oi, oi. Professional fly fisherman. Come back here, buddy. Come on, we just wanna get a good look at you. I got the net ready. It's like we're literally right in the side of the mouth there. Ah, beautiful fish. <laughs> we're gonna get you right back, don't worry. Oh my goodness. Look at that, right in the top of the mouth. So this is something else again. I mean, we're just switching flies here. That is that. And now you could say like, oh dude, like red breast sunfish, they will literally clock anything, especially if they're on a bed or it looks like he's on a bed. Look how freaking pretty, man. That's, that's a spawning colors. Super, super sick. All right, buddy. Thank you so much. Ooh, let's see if he goes right back. He was sitting on that little light patch right there. I see he's slowly going over that way. Oh, all right, all right. Second fish of the day. Ah, I don't know, man. I, we'll cast here. It's like a little darker, shaded, deeper water. We're gonna start walking down now. You can feel the storm is coming. I just, uh, yeah, I don't know about these trout, man. I saw one. Oh gosh, I almost fell like so many times too. I just took my phone out of my pocket. But yeah, man, I saw a trout. And I, I'm pretty sure I got bit by a trout, so that was two. I just, I just, I don't know. I'm gonna slowly come this way. Again, all this really is right now is bobber fishing. I tried to put a split shot on, because I was like, dude, maybe I'm not getting down to the trout. Like, maybe I need to get deeper. I got snagged like three times. I don't know how I didn't lose my rig. And no trout. <laughs> very good, very professional. See, like, this looks... This looks nice. Oh, even down there too. Dude, there's several little pockets of stuff. Oh, this, come on, man. We gotta catch a fish. This is gorgeous, dude. Oh my goodness. I'm glad we're here today because this is going to be super high and possibly even like unweightable in the next couple of days. So, oh, there's fishing line on the branch right here. You see that? Right there in this tree, somebody's fly. Ow. I got a fish. I got a fish. I was just drifting that down the middle of the water. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'll take it. It's better than nothing, man. Oh, actually. Yeah, I'll definitely take it on that same fly. Right in kind of like the middle of the water, tinier red breast. I mean, if I was a trout, this doesn't look like a bad area to hang out and be a trout. That's for sure. <laughs> Got something <laughs> right under that log. What is that? Oh! Oh, I thought that was a largey for a second. That's another, is that a chub or a shiner? Throw that dude back, there's another, it's like a, something bigger right here. Oh, that dude did it. <laughs> what is that? Oh, oh, that was a bluegill. Let's see if anything else, dude, this is like fish heaven. There's a log right there. I'm just letting this thing sink right down next to it. There we go. 
There we go. <laughs> what is that? Another shiner? I know this isn't like fly fishing, fly fishing. This is so much fun, dude. This is so cool. I think that's a shiner or a sucker. I, I do not know the difference that well. This is crazy because they're right at my feet. All right, let's get back on the move. I'm gonna step literally right on all these. Oh. Eesh. It's a little deeper here. There we go, there we go. There we go. I saw this dude just chilling there. Oh, come here. This is a decent one. It's one of the bigger creek fish we caught today. I mean, that's not saying much, I guess, considering what we caught. Come here. Oh, that's actually really good. Oh my gosh. Solid freaking red breast. Wow. Let's let her go real quick. That's why I love this fly stuff too, is it just comes out so nice, so clean. Oh, wow. Oh, yo. All right, let's keep wading down. Just saw her on a lighter patch. I guess they're bedding. This is so cool, man, exploring new parts of creeks that I've never even really explored. It's pretty interesting because on the right here, there's like a ledge. It's like a shelf. Oh. I'm sure this would just like come down. That uh, current kind of eats away underneath the ledge there. Oh, this is interesting too. I didn't even know right there. Y'all probably can't even see that. It says fly fishing only. Did not even know that that was a thing. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. There's a fish that is not the fish, I don't think. Ah, oh, this is so much fun, dude. These dudes, I mean, you gotta give credit to the red breast, man. Especially in Delaware here, they give these creeks so much life, so much fun. And they're so freaking cool, again, especially this time of the year. I'm trying to be more quiet because I don't know why. I feel like it makes me more stealthy. Boom, thank you, buddy. There's a couple different things over by this log, but I saw something big. I don't know what that big thing was. All right, so quick update. We uh, had to walk all the way back, all the way back to the bag. We gotta go all the way back down this way. Oh my gosh. I found trout and I was getting nibbled, but I didn't A, have the Amazon kit, cause I'm a, yeah. Like let's leave all our lures up, way upstream. Again, I didn't think I was walking down that far. Either way, no excuse. We gotta get back. Definitely let me know if you guys like these kind of videos, these kind of creek wading, exploring with the fly fishing added in. I'm out of breath. I feel like I'm gonna fall any second. I got this big old backpack on right now too. I'm really not sure how much more time we have until the downpour. And I also have to drive like three hours somewhere later today. So we're just kind of playing everything by ear. Just keep throwing this fly for now. It got bit. a little bit deeper. But I don't know if I can get deeper. I don't have any tiny split shots. All right, well, we are gonna hope whoever lost this lure 
I mean, I'm not gonna lie if they lost it. I don't know how good they are. There is a uh, fly that is just like, it's called the San Juan worm. I've used it before. It's just, it looks like a worm. I wish I had one of those in this box. Really? Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Oh, she snagged. Or he. Right in the butt. Come on, man. What are the freaking odds? Can I at least land it? Oh, it's a brown, I think. Is that why these fish are being so weird? They brown trout. Literally just gonna look at you. Oh gosh. No 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 Hey we're friends. Okay. Holy crap! Why did that take freaking 20 years? Guys, literally, I am dehydrated, I'm hungry. You could probably tell from the way the sun has shifted. Oh, did he just throw it? Yeah, literally hooked under the butt. Okay, well, he's out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, it's a rainbow. Finally had my net this time. Rainbow trout. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not even squeezing it, buddy. You're okay. He's like, dude, you just hooked me in the freaking butt. Okay, there he goes. You good, buddy? Oh, hey. Meaty fish, too. Oh, that's so pretty. All right, you're good, man. I, I'm sorry I hooked your butt. Again, these fish are fragile, especially. Wow, look how pretty that tail is. Especially uh, this time of the year, you know, they're cooler water fish and when it starts to warm up like this, it's been in the 90s and stuff, they can get very fragile. I thought he bit me. <laughs> oh man. Are right, you good, buddy? He wants to go back downstream. There we go. Boom. <laughs> oh, so that's kind of how they've been sitting. You can see them right there. Literally, just oh, look, just like that. He went down to the bottom. They've just been looking upstream like they do, and I could see them. I just, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I, I don't, I don't know. 